The CADMAN report tools label attributes on files and components. They read from a CSV spreadsheet with headers and rows of values. The important thing is that the first column must contain a component name or a SketchUp file name. The rest of the columns may be any information you want for each component in your inventory. A simple CSV header data file has two rows. The top row is the headers or category fields for each successive row. The top row of values will be used by the labeler to build the input dialog, and the second row of values will be the default values for the dialog box. With nothing selected in the model, Make Individual Attributes lets you specify a library name or pick an existing one, and using a header input file, it labels the entire model. Select multiple components, specify a library name, or pick an existing one, pick the header data file, and the individual labeler builds a dialog for each component. Notice that the dialog shows the default values from the second row of the spreadsheet if that field has no pre-existing value. Fill in the fields with information for each component. Here I am canceling instead of saving each one. Let's open the header data file and move the second row down one so that the second row will contain only blanks. Now when the individual labeler builds the dialog box, it uses blanks for the defaults if there's no pre-existing information for that component. Here's a header data file that has information for an entire database of parts and components where the values and entries can be managed as product information changes, such as pricing, power requirements, suppliers, availability, etc. The batch attribute labeler lets you manage your model information. It searches through all assemblies and subcomponents in the model and applies library information for each component that matches a first column name entry in the spreadsheet. The report generator shows the results of mass labeling within this simple cart file. It's very simple to calculate a cost estimate from this information. Add a new totals column, input a formula quantity times unit cost, and flood fill that formula downwards to the bottom of the file and sum the totals column. And there's your cost estimate. Now view the longer video that explains all the functionality for the report tools.